Hi guys, my name's LDC, and welcome to The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. i got to tell you how long I've been waiting to play this game on PC and record it and put it on YouTube. Ah, oh, god dang it, this game is so good. Okay, backstory on this. From the same guys who made Super Me Boy, um, absolutely ace, I think it's Team Meat. Ed McMillan and all that from the indie game, the movie. And this game is so much fun. It's roguelike, it's a top down, very, very interesting, very difficult game that's got loads of different elements in it. So, for it, I'm going to show you this. This is the collection screen, and these are all the items you can pick up in the game. And they all give you different powers and stuff. So, Straight up, I'm going to explain what's going on as we get into the game. We can only be Isaac at the moment. Uh, there's loads of other lock characters, but we'll unlock them on the way. This isn't... This is... Yeah, I've played this so many times. I should be actually quite good at this game by now. So, we'll play as Isaac. He's got two hearts. Uh, three hearts, even. He's got two speed and two attack damage. And then he's got no special power either. So, that's who we are in this video. Let's see how we go moving about. So, you'd move with uh, ASWDW, which is a weird way of saying it. You attack with your own tears... That's right. Um, with the up, down, left, right buttons. Shift or E is the bomb. And then space is to use your item. Um, up top, it's quite simple. On the left-hand side, you've got your map. Then you've got your hearts on the right. Your space button is something we'll find out a little bit later on. Then you've got coins, bombs, and keys. Very, very simple. Let's go down. So we meet our first enemy here, which is the bullet flies that come in straight for you. I want to kill you. So in each room, you'll probably earn some stuff to you know, pass on. So we'll see how far we can get. We'll probably last a life. So we got Ouija board, which is Spectral Tears, which is really cool. That's a very, very good upgrade for our first kind of run through the game. Um, this is poo, by the way, that we're hitting. Big bits of poo, which is unpleasant, admittedly. But look at what it's done to little Isaac's face. Oh! Uh, spectral Tears, you can shoot through stuff. Kind of simple. Shoot through rocks, but you would be amazed at how you know, good that is. Okay, this isn't the best enemy to get first thing in the in the morning. What have we got? Come here, 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 come here. There we go. Right. So there's a chest there with a key on it, key lock. Can't get that yet. We can break all this stuff with a bomb if we so choose, but to be honest, I don't think we absolutely need to do that. So let's just continue up this way. Uh, I want to see if there's anything else. There's probably nothing else on this level. Oh, we've got one of the... Uh, the seven deadly sins in the game, which is Wrath. Uh, and this is, as you can see, akin to Bomberman. <laughs> which is very, very cool. I like that a lot. Um, I've not played Wrath in a long time. Uh, but there's a few actual things that we can do here. So this is one of like the sub-bosses of the game. Uh, not much of a challenge. You know, he's one of my favourite kind of bosses to do. You can push his bomb in his way as well to cause damage and it kills him. So, yeah, as soon as he comes in he'll be dead now. Really, there you go. Right, so he gets a troll bomb that sets off. We get a bomb, and we get a spirit heart. A spirit heart, by the way, came from a different coloured block from up this part here. Um, loads of different blocks. These ones, these darker ones, you can't actually break. Uh, they're only for the wrath fight as well, I think, or the wrath fight, sorry. Uh, but there was a block up here if you go back about two seconds and see it. It's like a bluish colour. You bomb that, you get a spirit heart. Spirit hearts are hearts that cannot be regenerated by the red ones that you pick up, but are there until they are lost. See? Not that difficult. You pick it up as you go. I'm trying to explain each one. So we're going to the, bo the boss room now, and we're against the Duke of Flies. Isaac versus the Duke of Flies. So this guy is actually not that difficult there, but he does spawn a load of flies. What you want to do as a tactic is to just take him out. Just absolutely take him out. No worries there. And these flies don't come for you, but the other ones start to kind of surround him. And that's a bit of a pain, but he's almost dead. Not much of a challenge, especially for someone who's played this game for hours and hours and hours. You kill him, he stops spawning the flies, except for the final few that he does. That green fly, the, uh, the grey grey fly that you see there, that one just kind of homes around and then shoots stuff at you. And when there's a load of them later on, you do feel it. Right, so we've got Mum's pants, I think that's what they are. Mum's underwear, which gives us a range up. You see in the bottom right corner, it gives us a little thing, so our range is a lot higher. Not that it matters, we've got spectral tears, so that's not exactly the thing that I wanted to take. But hey, let's keep going. We can break all the poo. Normally there's not much in the poo. Um, you can get a heart. Oh, there you go. When I say there's not much and then two hearts appear. So if you're low on health, definitely start doing the poo. Doing the poo. Okay. 
Yeah, these these pieces of slabs of meat are a bit annoying as well because they they shoot. So that you have to kind of like walk around them and shoot up to them, which is a serious serious pain in the bum. Right, one of my friends has just added me on Steam, which is fantastic, because we're going to be playing Civ 5 together, which I will be live streaming as well, which I think will be kind of cool. A game of Civ 5 live stream with best mates. Oh, we haven't got any keys to go up here. Look at Isaac with his silly face and mum's underwear on. No keys whatsoever, so that's one thing we are mega lacking right now, is keys mega lacking. Um, God, God dang it. Oh, bloody flies. See, these are the early levels. There's a lot more to this game. And the Wrath of the Lamb was a DLC for the original Binding of Isaac game. I mean, I bought this for four quid or something ridiculous. Um, yeah, and so much stuff in it. Right, I've got a feeling what happens is if you look at the map in the top left, you've got almost an, uh, an N shape covering this place here. There should be a room. If there was a door, it would be here. If you drop a bomb here... It opens a little, you know, sneaky hideaway secret passage, which if you go in, can give you some good stuff. I never really understand what this guy is, but that red fire at the top will shoot things at you. It will shoot little red tears at you, so you got to be prepared for that. But we managed to get some extra money. Um, I don't know who that thing is, but the, the story goes of Isaac that it's his mum who's trying to kill him. And he hides in a chest, and this is where he ends up in this weird place, right? These guys are quite fun, they just run away from you, they're scared of you all the time. But they do drop uh, good stuff, right? I can actually get them from far away here, because I've got the spectral tears, I can use that to my complete advantage. That bomb will kill that guy. What? That guy is lucky. Right, we've got nine nine coins. Not too... Uh, this is a sacrifice room, you can run over it and give yourself damage uh, for either money or items, I think. I never ever use them. Because uh, I never have really that many hearts. I'm just going to go pick up a heart from in this room. Uh, as we're probably going to be going into the boss fight now. The thing you're looking for on Binding of Isaac is, as much as possible, getting yourself some health. So we're going to go until we die, which probably isn't that soon. Because that guy's going to blow up in front of us. Hit those bomb guys. They just chug at you in the suicide bombers. The kamikaze guys. So this level's not been too bad as, as per... Please be a key. Oh, we've got a key. Yes, we can get another. Right, take the key. Go back to that room with the crown in, which is the item room. Bit of backtracking, but there's loads and loads of different items. So I'm going to be playing this as much as I can to try and explain to you what goes on. What is this? The Book of Shadows. I've forgotten what the Book of Shadows does, so I'm not actually going to use it as yet. Spectral Tears do not put out those fires very, very quickly. It's like triple the tears to actually put them out. Oh, right, okay, well, let's well let's continue. You know, there's not really much we can do except go through the boss on this floor, so let's see which boss it is. Don't be someone bad. Ah, Gemini, right, this guy's quite interesting. So, <sighs> trying to explain what these bosses are is really difficult because Isaac is said to be a baby, yet you see this kind of stuff with, like, an umbilical cord, and it's really weird stuff. And if you've seen Indie Game the movie, you'll know that Ed McMillan, who did Super Meat Boy, used to draw, like, really weird stuff, and he made, like, really weird games. Um, which is a good thing. I'm going to use the Book of Shadows. Ah, it gives me a shield. That's really good, and I can start attacking them quite easily now. Well, I said easily, but the Book of Shadows gives me a shield. Right, we'll try and remember that. Oh, God! Right, yeah, so you defeat the, the big Gemini, and then his little baby fetus gets all angry and starts attacking you. But you can corner him in a corner and just keep shooting loads of bullets at him. So you can actually, you know, put a load of damage straight through and he doesn't even go anywhere. But you, you've got to be lucky, really. A radioactive spider has appeared in the basement. I do. I have no idea what that means. i got to be honest. So we've got a HP up. Definitely helpful. The more hearts you have, the better it's going to be for you. Promise you. wonder how far we can get. Probably very far on the first life, you know. Right, spiders. We hate spiders. There's so much stuff that I can't even discuss or start to discuss with you. Mainly because it would just take so long. Right, these white spiders, they will hurt you. But if you shoot this golden poo over here, you get loads of coins. Come on. There you go. <laughs> 
Just takes so long, and the poos make a little smiley face, which is really pleasant. Oh, we got a little guy who needs some money. Well, we could give him some money, and he does sometimes give you some health. So I'm wondering, should I wait for the shop? No, we'll use a bomb. That blows the block over onto this bit. Okay, one, two. Let's make a donation. Because if you make donations, he does, he does give you stuff. Wait for it. Come on, don't play me on this one. Right, he's giving us a key. Which is helpful. We don't really need the money as yet. He's given us another key. And he's given us Mum's purse, which is more trinket rooms. Don't really understand what that is. I don't really think it's helpful. These guys are a really pay real pain in the ass. As enemies go, these guys probably take my my s least favourite, or at least some of my least favourite enemies in, in the Binding of Isaac. And I don't really know, like, what the... P oh, god damn it. I'm going to die so quickly. Come on. Oh, they just do it. And he's holding a handbag and everything. Can't die with a handbag. Ah, oh, we got a we got a card here. Two of clubs. Uh, that's something that I don't really know about either. Uh, a lot of the stuff from the Wrath of the Lamb DLC is beyond me. Ah, uh, these guys are easy when you've got spectral tears. They didn't give us anything. All they do is spit out, like, a tear to you, so... You know... Uh, we haven't found the item room yet, so we're going to go and find the item room, see if we can get something a little bit better. Oh, God damn it! So many flies. It's like a puzzle. Did you... Oh, we got a boss. Right, these guys actually aren't too bad. They don't shoot any projectiles, but they just roam around and they will take health off you if you hit you. So you just got to keep moving with them, really. Oh, and they do that. I thought this was the ones that would just break up at the end. I'm going to die if I'm not very careful here. Right, okay. This is actually a real diff dangerous place to be. Half a heart going into the last one. Um, and we died. There you go. That's my first run of Binding Isaac that you've seen. Guys, my name's been LDC. Thank you very much for watching. <sighs> and I will see you next time.